Welcome to Toffee TV. It is the Everton News Daily. Bernard has praised Carlo Ancelotti for giving him the freedom to unlock his skills. What he said. Um, Bernard has been playing a lot better lately, uh, found some form, although he missed uh, Saturday's win at Watford. He was on the bench, but his form has certainly picked up since Ancelotti coming. Uh, he thinks one of the key things to this form picking up is the freedom he's been given by the Italian. Uh, said it's very much like he played at Shakhtar under Paolo Fonseca, where he would come in into central areas off the left-hand side. Bernard said, I've been really happy with my performances and I've been able to help the team. Part of that reason is the, influ uh, is the influence of Carlo Ancelotti and the freedom he's given me to play. Now it's a process of development and understanding what the coach wants from you, evolving and developing day to day. What the manager has asked from me is to look for spaces between the defensive lines. I've been able to find the space, receive the ball, turn around and play it quickly. The freedom Carlo has given me is enabling me to find these spaces and get away more shots. This is the way I played at Shakhtar under Paolo Fonseca. Gets him closer to the goal and gets more shots away and hopefully he can add to that by scoring some goals. That's the only real thing that's missing from Bernard's game. So, fingers crossed he will uh, do that. Alex Iwobi said that Theo Walcott's winner on Saturday was the perfect end to a great day for him. He was back after being out for six weeks and um, played just over an hour of the game uh, and said he almost re-injured his hamstring running down the line to celebrate when Walcott scored in injury time at Watford at the weekend. It was great to see the likes of Iwobi and Dominic Calvert-Lewin celebrating with the players, with that goal. Um, and Awobi says that he's enjoying making an impression on Carlo Ancelotti. He hopes that he'll get better and better. He said that it felt a little bit sluggish at times with the passes because he'd been out for so long, but hopefully that will speed up uh, the fitter he gets. So fingers crossed we'll see um, uh, you know, improvement from Awobi as well as we move forward. Uh, Everton are apparently tracking Lille defender Gabriel, a 22-year-old Brazilian been in fine form for Lille this season. Um, French News, Lee 10 Sports, say that Everton and Arsenal made bids in January for Gabriel and are likely to go back for the young defender in the summer. It's clear that Everton do want a centre-back, um, want to bring in another centre-back. So we'll see whether it is Gabriel who they turn to. Obviously, Lewis Gibson has just signed a new deal and he sees his long-term future being in the full Everton squad he played for Fleetwood at the weekend as well. So we'll have to see if anything happens with maybe Michael Keane in the summer or whatever. If Everton are going to go for another centre-back, you'd think that um, there will probably be a decision on maybe Michael Keane's future in the summer. But who knows? We'll have to wait and see. Um, from one centre-back to another, Morgan Feeney has returned to Everton after suffering a hamstring injury during his debut for Tramier at the weekend. Feeney came off on 89 minutes with the hamstring problem and early reported that he's going to be missing for three months, which is yet, which is basically the rest of the season. Mickey Mellon, the Tramier manager, said he was very disappointed to lose Feeney, but he's gone back to Everton for treatment. Um, big blow for Morgan because obviously, you know, he wanted to go out there and really build up his league experience. And if that's been done for the season, then he'll be devastated with that. Uh, and former Sunderland striker Kevin Phillips has said that Duncan Ferguson is an inspiration to the football club. Um, Phillips said he'd been blown away by the impact Big Dunk made when he took over as caretaker manager for those three games and that um, start that Ferguson give Everton has kick-started them and they've developed and gone on under Carlo Ancelotti. Phillips said Dunk is pivotal to the success of the football club. He has an affiliation to the club and a love for the club. What he did when managed was unbelievable. His passion for the club, you saw that on the touchline, was just incredible. Hopefully he'll learn under Carlo Ancelotti and it's vital that Everton uh, keep him involved. So there you go. Praise from former Sunderland striker Kevin Phillips there. That is it for the News Daily. Subscribe, give the video a thumbs up. And if you want more videos, join us over on Patreon. Thanks for watching. See you later.